Part 2. Azure Moon. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Kingdom Army begins to invade Imperial territory. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. We have received a report from our spy. It would seem the Empire is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. This is undoubtedly in response to us taking the Great Bridge of Murden. Their numbers are more than double ours. We believe that the Emperor herself may be leading them. <gasps> if House Regan can reconcile with House Gloucester sooner than later, then Claude can proceed with his plan to rally the Alliance Lords, gather troops, and invade Empire territory. At this rate, three military forces will be clashing at Grander Field. If you wish to indulge in nostalgia, do it elsewhere. I'm afraid the difference in military strength is far from negligible. While we are elite soldiers, I am still uneasy about this. If possible, I'd like to request reinforcements right away. If we can rely on any of the major kingdom houses for military support, it would be House Karen, I'd wager. House Karen has yet to declare fealty to the Empire. It is also my home. I will make the request to my father. With things as they are, I don't think he can refuse. The church has long protected me. I am certain that any request from the church will be answered to the utmost of their ability. Very well. We're counting on you, Catherine. I suppose that is all we can do for now. So it would seem. Though if there are any other avenues worth exploring, I would suggest... Ah, good point. We have no reason to engage the Alliance directly. Even if we do receive Count Karen's aid, we still won't have the troops we need to face the Empire. But if we join forces with the Alliance, then our numbers will rival the Empire's. Agreed. It's about the only thing we can do. For now, let's send a messenger and try to figure out what the Alliance hopes to achieve. It's hard to believe this decisive battle will take place at Grander Field. I imagine that place is full of memories for all of you. We won the Battle of the Eagle and Lion back in the day. It seems like a lifetime ago. I can't help but remember, even though I wish I didn't. Our feast after the battle. I remember it well. We all had so much fun together. No! Please stop it! I had finally put all of that out of my mind. This isn't right. They're our friends. We used to study together. We shouldn't be fighting them. Why not march up to Her Majesty and a reminder of that? Oh, that's right. Because you want to live to see tomorrow. No matter who the enemy is, I will fight for His Highness. Tell me, Boar Prince. Do we stand a chance? Who knows? If we lose, we'll have died for you. I hope you know that. That's enough, Felix. We must focus on the battle ahead. Make your peace before we depart. It's kill or be killed out there. We will cross blades with the Empire, but it's possible we will also have to strike down the Alliance. Your Highness, do you feel no hesitation about killing your former friends? I'm used to killing familiar faces by now. There's quite a bit of fog settling in. We won't be able to advance our troops very far in this. We won't be able to move at all until the fog lifts. No matter which path we take, we'll have to be patient and wait it out. Gilbert? No. Gustav. I would like to take this opportunity to speak with you about something. It's about the tragedy of Dusker. There's something about it I just can't wrap my head around. I'm listening. I lost a son in Dusker that day. I exhausted every last resource I had to investigate what took place there. 
I was startled to find that there wasn't a single shred of evidence to suggest that Lady Patricia's carriage had been attacked. Go on. Apart from His Highness, whose injuries left him on the verge of death, everyone else present at the time was slaughtered. Of all the victims, only the corpse of Lady Patricia, His Majesty's second wife, was never found. Isn't that right? Hmm. Surely that means she was abducted. There was no evidence of an attack, suggesting they threatened her, but did not kill her. But what reason would they have to take her? Would it not have been better to kill her? Perhaps she had some value as a diplomatic pawn. Nonsense. In the many years since that day, has Lady Patricia ever been used thus? No, not as far as I know. Then perhaps she was used for some political gain within the Empire. Now that her daughter is the Emperor, what reason would she have to keep hiding her existence? It is possible she passed away after returning to the Empire. Gustav, I know this is hard for you to hear, but just consider what it would mean if Lady Patricia was involved with that incident. Silence, Rodrigue. I will not allow you to tarnish her memory like that. I do not mean to imply that she arranged His Majesty's murder or anything of the like. But Gustav, I cannot shake the feeling that the tragedy was part of a much larger conspiracy. There is more to it than we know. That much is certain. Rodrigue! Gilbert! Please hurry! To kill like this is inhuman. This is one of the knights we dispatched to the leader of the Alliance. Tell me everything you know. Sir, a soldier on patrol came across this night a short while ago, in a rocky area not far from here. Someone from the Alliance must have disposed of the body there. Is this how the Alliance chose to inform us that they have no intention of joining our cause? Yes. I would not hesitate to believe them capable of this. Whatever the truth is, the other knights we dispatched are in serious danger. It's best to assume that joining with the Alliance is out of the question now. Even with Count Karen's support, this makes our situation grim. I never expected the Alliance to help us. Anyone who stands in my way will be crushed beneath my feet. It is time, dear brother. Time to celebrate.
The Kingdom Army departs from the Great Bridge of Murden and marches south toward Enbar, the Imperial capital. Meanwhile, the Alliance Army follows from behind to invade Imperial territory, and the Empire has dispatched forces from Fort Mercius to intercept them. The curtain is rising on a conflict between the three armies, which will come to be known as the Battle at Grondor, held on the same plains that witnessed the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Know that I will tear your heads from your shoulders. The dead must have their tribute. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. 
Years ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. Kill every last one of them! So we fight on. You have finally appeared, Edelgard. Now, you are mine! The Kingdom Army doesn't look too interested in joining forces with us. Let's take a moment to see how this all unfolds. It would not be advantageous to take on both at once. We must stop the Kingdom and the Alliance from joining forces. I will create such chaotic warfare that they won't be able to tell who is friend and who is foe. Shall not stray. until we meet again. Bye. 
sorry. Thank you. I'll make sure your life was not lost in vain. Center is in danger of being taken. We must be running to protect it. Consequence of the blood I've spilled. <laughs> the Empire and Kingdom are mixed up in this battle. It's a struggle to target the right one. Such are the rules of melee. We'll just have to crush anyone who isn't an ally. Great. I may not have a crest, but I'll give it my all. I am not going to hold back. I can't let down my dear old Claude.
that it? Forget about me, did you? Maybe you should just let me go. Yeah! Woo! Here is something to believe in. Yeah! Oh! I have to get out of here. I'll die if I don't. Hilda, you've done well. Leave the rest to me. to lose. Plan. Looks like I'll just have to get rid of you.
Adrestia, and for Bridget, I will be defeating all of you! No escape! Don't expect forgiveness. Don't worry, you must live on to lead your people. Those fools who went up the hill will pay with their lives in the Crimson Flame. Danger my life. Your Majesty, I must withdraw. No need to worry. We still have some troops left. So long as I stand, we won't give up. Yeah! You're a big help. back just because I know you. Sorry, but that's war.
I disposed of doubt long ago. I'm glad I can count on you. Did I underestimate the enemy? What's the plan? Finding my focus. I am helping Claude build the future of Fodlin.
So sad that our reunion should take place on the battlefield. Yeah, I, I thought we had a chance, but there was no way to predict the movements of the Kingdom Army. I can't afford to die here. I have to retreat. over for me. I did my best. be me. You're better off turning tail and running away. Blood. Take care of my little sis. And the Alliance. future just like that
much needed. Don't expect me to go easy on you, because I won't. Another victory. I must admit, I did well. I must lead them well. I'll use this power for the greater good. Even if I die... Falter. until we meet again. It was meant to 
be. hands dirty. can always depend on you.
Much appreciated. is your death. Shot. Too slow. Uh. Uh. I aim for greatness. Knew you could do it.
I knew when next we met, one of our paths would have to come to an end. Your journey ends here, Professor. Forever. your own death. I'm not interested in methods of dying. All that matters is when death takes place, not how. And I have no intention of dying today. I'm sure all of the people you've slaughtered so far thought the same. I lost. Just as expected, you aren't making my path an easy one. I must retreat for now. We'll meet again on the battlefield. So, you think you can escape, Edelgard? Your Highness! You're alive! We have to retreat to the Great Bridge of Murden. That woman. We failed to capture her. I will keep pursuing. The rest of you, keep fighting! I'm so sorry, but we can't do that. I understand how you feel, but the Imperial Army is closing in. I'll kill all of them. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of them there are! <sighs> you! What are you doing here? It's too dangerous! Fall back! Now! <laughs> Your Highness! You... are... you off guard, your highness. Aww, does it hurt? I bet it hurts real bad, doesn't it? But it's nothing compared to what my brother felt. You will never be forgiven, you know. I will never forgive you. <laughs> you, you must be. You filthy monster. It's time to die! Dimitri! Ah! Uh, professor! Do it now! Brother, help me. Rodrigue! Your Highness, are you safe? Please tell me it wasn't in vain. His punishment, it was mine to bear. There are no sins or punishments on the battlefield. No, don't die. Please don't die. Father, stepmother, Glenn, they all died and left me behind. Roderick, are you to join the ghosts who shadow my every move? This is my fault. I'm the one who killed you, as surely as though I had wielded the blade. <laughs> Your Highness, you have one thing terribly wrong. None of them, none of us, died for you. I'm dying for what I believe in, just as they did. Your life is your own. It belongs to no other, living or dead. Live for what you believe in. Dimitri, my boy, you really do look just like His Majesty. What are you saying, Lambert? 
I am heading to Dusker. And before you start, nothing you could say would change my mind. You worry too much, my friend. So far, relations with Dusker have been going smoothly, wouldn't you say? You, of all people, should appreciate how critical these negotiations are. Of course I do, but for the king himself to make the journey, you must admit that it's dangerous. And his highness is still so young. If the worst should happen... Even if the worst should happen, he would be okay. He's a smart boy, Rodrigue. Even if he should lose his father, I have no doubt that he will grow to be a good and respectable man. Lambert. However, if he ever starts down the wrong path, and I am not here to set him straight, I am trusting you to do so in my stead, old friend. Promise me. Lambert. My promise. I... What do you want? It doesn't concern you. Get out of my way. No. Silence! You have no idea what you're talking about. Death is the end. No matter how much lingering regret a person has, after death, they are powerless. They cannot even wish for revenge, much less seek it out. Hatred, regret... Those burdens fall on the shoulders of those who are left behind. And so, I must continue down this path. I already told you as much. It is far too late to stop. Do not waste your breath with some nonsense about how I should move on with my life for their sake. That is merely the logic of the living. It's meaningless. Those who died with lingering regret, they will not loose their hold on me so easily. But you seem to have all the answers. So tell me, Professor. Please, tell me. How do I silence their desperate pleas? How do I... How do I save them? Ever since that day nine years ago, I have lived only to avenge the fallen. Even my time at the Officer's Academy was also that I could secure my revenge and clear away the regret of the dead. It was the only thing that kept me alive. My only reason to keep moving forward. <laughs> but then who or what should I live for? What I believe in. <laughs> Rodrigue said the same thing. But is it possible? I am a murderous monster. My hands are stained red. Could one such as I truly hope for such a life? As the sole survivor of that day, do I... Do I have the right to live for myself? Your hands are so warm. Have they always been?